it is a part of sum number 7, type 7, first sum. Earlier we saw about positive and positive. Whenever you hear a word about power 1, you need to read it with that, with continued division. Choir or continued division. Foster or partial fashion. It becomes much easier. There is nothing to teach you in this. It is as similar to your type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4. All the four types which we did about Horowitz is similar to it. In Horowitz, we learned about, about the continued division. The same thing you need to follow over here. Your 80% of the sum remain the same. Only the 20% the new thing which I'll be teaching you that is about your network. How to draw the realization network for LC function for coil form 1. Now the question arises, what about the coil form 1? What is the difference between coil form 1 and coil form 2? When I say coil means you need to do continued division. Guys make it a point, when I say coil form 1, your power should be arranged from highest to lowest, highest to lowest. And you can itself understand what will happen in coil form 2. Power from 1 says the power will be arranged from highest to lowest, highest to lowest in both numerator as well as denominator. You need to apply continued division, guys. Nothing will be taught in this. Very simple. The highest term will be divided by highest term over here. You get 4s. Multiply 4s over here, you get this term. Sign change, you get association. Continued division means you have to shift it ahead. Divide this term with this term, you get this term. Multiply this term with this and this, you get this equation. Sign change. Shift it over here. Divide this and this term. You get this term, but look. Then divide, you get further. You need to do it continuously till you get the value as zero. So, what are the new point in this? So, in this, you should similar to square form one, you should donate this as z, y, z, and y. Right? So, if we do not as z, y, z, y, my dear friends, now I need to find LC function, value of LC. So, it is a foster form 1. So, your z from here you will be getting the value for L. So here you will be getting the value for C, L, and C. Now, next question says how to get the value of L? The logic says adjacent. Value of s. What is the adjacent value of s? Is 4. The value of l will be 4. What is the adjacent value of s? Is 1 upon 24. The value of c will be 1 upon 24. What is the adjacent value of s? 48 upon 5. The value of l will be 48 upon 5. What is the value of c? This is 55, 55 upon 72. That is the unit is parts. So arrange it in ladder. Ladder means series parts. Series parts. This is known as ladder form. So arrange it the value of L, C, L, C, and so on. We start with the first value, first, second, third, fourth. First value, second value, third value, fourth value. If more values, you can just continue, keep on cutting it. Horizontal, vertical. Horizontal, vertical. That's very simple. So let's have a look at Quire form 2, guys, to have a more clear picture how to deal with Quire form 2. Thank you so much, guys, signing off.